are watching the award-winning GHS TV, a nationally recognized student television station. Hello and welcome to this week's edition of GHS TV's award-winning talk show, Crosstalk. I'm your host, Sarah Mayers. Each week in this time slot, we take a look at different issues, personalities, and events that affect you and our community. Here in Germantown, summer has just begun, and what better way to kickstart it than with the Germantown Charity Horse Show. Today, we'll learn about the history of the horse show, talk to this year's queen, and talk to riders in the competition. First, I had the chance to talk to Mr. Bobby Lanier, longtime executive director of the Germantown Charity Horse Show. Mr. Lanier, thank you so much for coming onto our show today. Thank you. Thank you for having us. It was great. So, the horse show started in 1948. How did that come about? Well, we had Germantown, they used to have a bunch of hunters and jumpers that rode horses and everything, and they decided it'd be a good deal to start the Charity Horse Show. And we started up on, on, on Poplar, but we moved to Germantown High School, we used to have it on a football field, and then we got this place over here where the city bought this property, and we leased it back eight acres and built a arena down there, the bowl, what they call it. And so, and we have charitable organizations since 52, we have had nine charitable organizations that we have supported, and now we have the Exchange Love for Abused Children as our sponsor, uh, that we are sponsored now. Throughout the show, we want to give you a behind-the-scenes look at this year's Germantown Charity Horse Show. Here are some sights and sounds from the week. I started riding when I was young. I actually have only been riding for about a year. My family has been into horses for many generations. I always had a love for the horses. The sport is very unique because it's uh, everyone looks at it as an individual event, but it's really a team event because it's you and your horse. There's so much communication that is involved between horse and rider, and there's a bond that's created that is unlike any other. Um, to get on an animal that could kill you if it wanted to and make it go over jumps and um, really save you in times that you need to be saved is just a beautiful thing. very important relationship. It's a completely on trust. In the barn, it depends what time it is. Um, there's always a little level of stress that's going on. Um, we all try to kind of keep calm so that those that are about to show are in show mode as well as with the horse. You can have a great rider that's on a not so good horse that can make that horse look a lot better than it is, but they still can only get up to the potential of the horse. If you have a bad rider and you put them on a really good horse, it's really easy to mess up a really good horse. And then once that bond hits, right, you, you really start to see something special. As you can see, organizing a horse show of this size is a full-time job. One job that holds the show together is the show manager. Joining me now is Phil DeVito, show manager for the Germantown Charity Horse Show. Thank you so much for coming on today. Oh, it's my pleasure. Well, Mr. DeVito, many people may not know, what is a show manager? 
Well, first you have to organize a team of people that you can have come in here and produce the horse show with you. Uh, tractor drivers, water truck drivers, jump crew, people you have to staff. Once you get your staff organized and in place, then you could begin planning for the horse show. You've got to add, also, you've got to create the prize list, which is like the show book. Uh, all the classes and events that the horse show will run and have. Uh, that needs to be produced, it needs to be printed, then you send it out. We'll send out probably 12 or 1500 copies of that through all parts in many states of the country. Um, so basically my job is to create the venue and to try and, and make the horse show work. When the horse show gets running and started, sometimes uh, the hard work can be behind you. Uh, in this case too here, you know, we sort of multitask and do multi jobs, but I also of course design the jumper ring and, and manage the horse show, so that's like sort of two jobs. But uh, we make it work here and I'm very fortunate to have great people to work with and surround myself with and of course the, the group here at Germantown Charity with the committee and Mr. Lemier and the whole gang are just the best people to work with. Here is another behind the scenes look at what goes on at the Germantown Charity Horse Show. The atmosphere around here is great. Uh, it's very inviting. We have a lot of competitors from all over the country, um, which is a lot of fun here for Memphis. We try to be very supportive and at Hunter's Edge we definitely have a family atmosphere and so we're able to be supportive to the other people so that it doesn't get too hectic. In the barns, it's a great group of people. You have very kind people, caring people. It's fun to be in front of a family and friends out here to see. It takes an intensive week of riding um, to prepare for Germantown Charity. And so we ride without stirrups. We go long hours out in the heat and switch horses a lot so that we're really prepared when it comes down to it. Well, there's a lot of work that goes into it. We have a lot of support of the people that are here that make sure the horses' stalls are clean and that they have their feet and their water, their fans are working. This is a hot day. It's hard. Um, you've got your entire family support. My sweet husband has been here every single day. My mom flew in just for the horse show. Um, it, it takes a village to really make it happen. I love coming to the charity. It's uh, a neat carnival atmosphere. So you get to see a lot of uh, different uh, aspects of the horse industry, as well as they really do a good job here about educating uh, aspects of the horse industry. They talk about what you're looking at, because that's one of the things about this is you kind of need to know what you're seeing to fully appreciate it. One of the horse show's enduring traditions is the crowning of the queen. Joining me now is the 2016 Queen, Allison Slot. Thank you so much for coming on today. Thank you so much for having me. This is exciting. Well, the reign of Queen is coming to an end. What has it been like being a part of such a rich tradition? Oh, it's been amazing. This horse show has been near and dear to my heart for the past 20 years, basically, and it's just been so exciting and an honor that they chose me to be Queen this year. Well, you actually rode growing up. What has it been like being the queen and not in the horse show itself? It's a little depressing now and then, but it's also fun being around the horse show again and kind of seeing the other side of it and not being, I get to sit back and watch other people do it and not me be the nervous one, so it's good. Here's one last look at the sights and sounds from this week's Germantown Charity Horse Show. The favorite part of the horse show is watching the horses themselves perform and they are really amazing. We are so blessed in this area to have so many people that support our sport and to have such a unique venue here in West Tennessee is so important. I think there's a lot of great things that go on here. We um, support a lot of charities and I think that's really important as well as just showing off this amazing town. This is really just the way to show the time and effort that they put in and what they're able to do with their results. This sport, particularly at an event like this, there's good prize money, um, there's a lot of prestige around this horse show, particularly locally, so it's uh, really neat to be winning at the charity. I think the show benefits the community in every way possible that it can because it is well known from what I understand nationwide. We have a total of seven horse shows in West Tennessee a year that are um, A rated, which is a national rating. There are many other shows that are qualified as schooling shows. 
but to gain points on a national level. Um, so yes, the Germantown Cherry is sort of the pinnacle for that. To have this facility here and to be able to use it is really amazing. To, and when you see the people that come from out of town, New York or Missouri or Georgia, I think it says a lot about uh, Germantown and the horse show itself. For the past 68 years, the Germantown Charity Horse Show has been a sense of pride for the community. I hope that you mark your calendars to come out to next year's 69th anniversary of the Germantown Charity Horse Show. I'm Sarah Mayers, and from all of us here at GHS-TV, thank you for watching Crosstalk, and I hope to see you again soon.